Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Okay, I'm, I'm here in, in our colonnade. Look at this. This is Houston. It's not supposed to be doing this here. This is Friday. This has been a crazy week. And it's been a week where I've been looking at a passage that seems to fit this for, for many people. Um, this passage is one of these chain passages out of Romans chapter 5. And if you didn't get to hear all of the lessons this week, I invite you to go back and listen. Monday started the passage where Paul says that we can rejoice in suffering. So I talked about what it means to suffer and how we can rejoice in it on Monday. Because, Paul says, suffering produces in us endurance. And that was Tuesday, talking about the endurance we have. The endurance produces character. Character was Wednesday. And then yesterday, that character, Paul says, produces hope. And then today, we, we look at the end of this where Paul says, and the hope doesn't disappoint us because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through his Holy Spirit. And this is where I want to end this this week and, and end this today. There's a really powerful understanding that the believer has. And that is that the love of God is very real. And that Greek word for love, agape, is a reference to a service type of love. God's, God's not interested in us because of what we do for him. He's interested in us because of what he does for us. He's really in, involved in trying to make the best for us of this messy world with all of its problems. And so one of the ardent listeners to this message is a, 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 a wonderful friend uh, uh, who's got um, uh, another friend who's got a daughter who's suffering at a very young age of cancer. And we've been praying and praying. And this mother of faith has just been ardent in understanding that God is at work in this. And that, in, that child, preteen child, is going to grow up by the grace of God with an understanding that God has his hand on her life. And through the suffering, is producing endurance, is producing character, is producing a hope. And I got an email from her this morning as the surgery was going on and when the surgery was completed about the, the hope. I was yesterday morning, actually. About the hope that is a confident expectation that God's at work here. I've got a spiritual mentor. He's um, um, uh, probably a couple of decades older than I am, uh, almost at least. And, and he got COVID and he got it really, really bad. He was in ICU for weeks. And he's been moved from ICU to a regular room and now moved to a rehab unit and, and is working hard to get to where he said, I can walk back and forth from my bed to the wall four times, but then I'm just totally wiped out. And, and he told me, he's, he's been listening to these messages, and he said, you know, there were times where he wanted to give up. And he thought it would be just a lot easier to go on and be with the Lord. But through the prayers and desires of, of his family and those who loved him, he decided the, the right thing to do was to fight, and he's fought. But he's done it in faith, knowing that God is at work in all of this for God's good purposes. And that's the key, because there's going to come a day where I die. There's gonna come a day where everybody dies. But we want the days that we live, as well as the day that we die, to be within God's good purposes for his plan. And we know that God's good purposes are ones that involve love for us. He's poured out his love on us. And so we can live in suffering and let it produce endurance, and let it develop a character that is one that hopes confidently and trusts confidently in the love of God. Because God is at work for something greater than any one of us individually. He loves us, he's at work in us, and so even when it's snowing in Houston, when pipes have busted and we've got two inches of water on the floor. God is at work. And we'll make it. 
one step in front of the other with prayer and faith through whatever the world can throw at us because God loves us and he's at work. I hope you're encouraged with that because it's your video thought for the day.